Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome. Welcome to your next 48 hours in love reading. It's a quick read. It's about 48 hours, you know, until this uh, energy plays itself out for you or you get to work through it, however you want to see that. One deck of cards, um, no oracles. This is a pretty down and dirty reading. Straightforward. We're not going to get too involved. Um, there's a lot of people watching this. Or five. I don't know. Um, but I don't want to get too specific. I like to talk about the energies. They could play out for each person in a different way. Um, so I don't like to say he said, she said stuff in my readings. I like to talk about it's an energy of walking away or it's an energy of coming together. I don't say you're walking away from that person or this person's coming toward you because it could play out differently. It could be, you know, you're walking away from that person and this other, you know, and you're walking towards someone else. It's, it, I don't like to say that one way or the other because it's a general reading, but I want to let you know that, you know, there's an energy of coming together there's, or there's an energy of pulling apart or there's an energy of working things out, or, you know what I mean? Maybe not. Well, stick around, we'll do the reading, and yeah. Drop me a comment too, if you're like, man, I couldn't understand what the f you were talking about, mister. And that's totally cool. I'm fine with that. That also helps me know to change up my style a little bit. Reading for individuals in a private setting is totally different than reading for a collective on a video platform. So I'm just saying. I've been doing this for a while, um, but the reading for the collectives is somewhat new to me. I've been doing it for a couple months now. It seems to be coming together. Ah, with that said, let's move forward. Spirit guides, ancestors, guardians, be with me now. Guide me, guard me, and protect me as I go within the fruit. Um, this thing. Help bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Scorpio Collective. As it pertains to love for them, for now, for the next 48 hours or so. Spirit, let's look at the uh, overall theme. What's the overall theme in love for Scorpio? For this next 48 hours. Three of Pentacles. Partnership. Collaboration. Working together. Now I'm not going to say it's got to be a monogamous partnership. It's Three of Pentacles. There may be more than one person involved in this. I'm no judge in that. A lot of my friends are poly. That's fine. There's lots of ways to do it. To do whatever you do. That's up to you. And what feels right to you and your higher self. So, Spirit, what more can we say about this Three of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles usually means collaboration. So it's a collaborative energy. The Fool. The Fool's been coming out a lot today. There's new beginnings in the air. Um, this next 48 hours from what I'm seeing. The Fool energy. You got a collaboration it's a new beginning in the Scorpio nation that you're manifesting or someone's manifesting you into their Three of Pentacles or they want to work with you. Three of Pentacles isn't always about three people. It's about a collaborative energy. So someone may want to work with you and they want this new beginning with you and they're trying to manifest this with you. Or it's a Gemini. Or you're the one doing the manifesting of this of this person. <laughs> or you're both manifesting each other. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. That, okay. Yeah. All right. Got it. Because all three of those cards, when I was doing my initial, what's the energy? The three of pentacles wouldn't land in my hand. But those other two were there wanting to come out. And it's like, okay, I got it. So... This manifesting of this new beginning, Scorpio, I believe is a collaborative effort between yourself and a potential love interest. Who are you thinking of when I said that? That person. That's the per 
When I said that, a, a, a person popped into your head, whether you saw their face, you had a scent in your mind of who they are, or their name jumped into your head, that's the person. And you're both collaborating. You're both manifesting this. Well done, Scorpio. Spirit, let's keep this moving forward. What energies are coming towards our Scorpio now that we're getting the idea that the Scorps and their love interest are potentially manifesting each other for this new beginning? But let's see, really, really, Spirit, who's coming towards the Scorpio? Let's get a little, let's get some dirt, or not dirt, let's get some tea going here. Six of Pentacles. This could be someone you've known from before. This could be a past life thingy. I said thingy. Um, could be someone that you have nostalgia with, someone that you've known for a minute. All right, Spirit. What, what more can we say about this Ten of Pentacles? Ooh, baby. Either they's daddy more bucks, or when you two come together, that creates a full family dynamic. Um, they could have kids, you could have kids, you two could be merging your families together like, dang, Scorps, what you, what you been up to? What you manifesting on, my friends? Huh. That's, that's, that's still two cards, Spirit. Something about putting burdens down and finding illumination. The sun is the happiest card in the deck and... Ten of Wands in reverse is a pretty happy energy, too. So, I don't typically read in reversal, but when they come out like kind of feeling fused together and they're in that orientation, I'll, I'll give it a reversal type setting. Wow. The sun could be a Leo. Just gonna put that out there. It could be a Leo or someone named Sunny. Hey, Sunny, you wanna do this? That's, Scorpio, don't. Yeah, it's getting late in the day for me. Okay, Spirit, what are the potential crossing energies here for Scorpio? An offering from an earth sign or, a, you know, a youthful, grounded individual. A page of pentacles. Potential crossing. What, a, what more can you say about this potential crossing energy, Spirit? Not much. Could be a Cancer. Um, it's the moon card. It's a card of cancer. It's also a card of not having the full story. It's the opposite of the sun, which we've already had. Sun and the moon in a reading. Sounds pretty uh, divinely orchestrated to me, though. All right. So your potential crossing is a lack of clarity, but you're gaining clarity. So trust the clarity that you get on the options that are coming in. One cup is grander or greater than the other cups. There's seven cups on this card. One of them is the larger option. I'm not saying bigger is better, but I am saying one stands out amongst the crowd. Go with that one. That's what I'm saying. Okay, Spirit, let's talk about advice. What kind of advice do you want to give our Scorpio peoples here? This Scorpio collective. In love for these next 48 hours. Whew, fight for what is yours, Scorpio. You may have a little bit of competition coming in on this. You may need to stand up for what you want. Because if you and that other person are manifesting each other, if you back down, they're not going to believe that you that you want them as much as they want you. <sighs> this is putting an end to mental conflict. So whatever you're up in your head about them not wanting you, let let that stuff go. Clearly that's the words I lift. I didn't say shit. I said stuff. Anyway, let that stuff go. 
out of the head into the heart. And if someone, you know, takes a run at your at your boo here, no, 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 no. Boo wants you. Trust in yourself and love yourself. Have love for yourself in the scenario. And your boo is going to see that. And that's the person they're going to want to be with. I mean it. I got nothing else for you. I'm not pulling any more of these cards. That's it right there. Scorpio, you got this. You're manifesting your happiness with somebody else. They are manifesting you too. Trust in that. Trust in yourself. And if someone does, you know, let's say you're at an event or at a gathering or something, and someone's like moving up and talking on the on your boo. Go stand there awkwardly until they walk away. Don't, okay, don't necessarily do that. That's what I would do. It's, I'm not the smoothest character ever. God, no, I, my um, Venus is in Aries, so I, I tend to be, never mind. Um, stand your ground. Fight for what you want. And I don't, I'm not condoning fist fighting or going up and actually getting into a brawl with somebody over a person. But show that person, like, hey, no, no, I'm the one that's, that you're interested. That's, I'm the one that's interested in you more so. This person's just, you know, not as worthy. Not, ooh, worthy, wrong word. Sorry. Um, oh, wow, I'm, I'm really struggling for the right term here. I'm the best option. I'm the best choice. Choice, not option. Let them know that. Let them know that you are the best choice. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I got for you. Scorpio, if you like this reading, kick me old thumbs up. Um, drop me a comment down below if you got something out of it. This is where we're parting ways. I'm sending you love, peace, and take it easy, my friends. Drink lots of water. Hug your loved ones. Take care of you, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.